What's up YouTube? Once again you're in the kitchen with Paul and today on In the Kitchen with Paul we're going to be doing something special. You know I've had a lot of requests for people that are out there in the workforce and they don't have a lot of time and they want to do meal prepping. So today on In the Kitchen with Paul we're going to show you how to meal prep your chicken breasts so you can have your chicken breasts all ready for your meals for the entire week. Today on In the Kitchen with Paul. Stay tuned. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your chicken breast out. Now, I bought my chicken breast in bulk. This is the chicken breast. It's already skinned. Of course, it's boneless. But you need to take it out of the container. And you first want to wash your chicken. So you want to get your chicken out. You want to wash it. And not only wash it, you want to clean it because you have fat deposits on your chicken that you want to clean off of there. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your chicken breast out. And I do a lot of it all at one time. This is enough to make about 12 to 15 meals depending on how much chicken you want to put in each meal. So you get your chicken breast out, you put it in the sink. See like this, you got a lot of fat on there that you wanna clean off of there. Pull them out. And now we're gonna clean them up. Okay, the first thing we wanna do, is we wanna clean our chicken. We get out a nice sharp knife. You see right here, you got a fat cap on there. So you want to cut that off of there. Now some people might say, oh, you cutting off some meat there. But you know what? It's going to be minimal, the amount of meat that you get rid of on that side of there. Most of the fat that you want to cut off, you can pull it. See that? And once you got that off of there, it's not slimy, throw it in there. Grab another one. See, once the fat that's on there, you can grab it with your fingers. You just can't pull it off with your fingers. But you grab it and get all the way down to the root of it. And you just slice it off of there. And if you don't get every little ounce of it off, don't worry about it. Fat adds flavor. So sometimes you don't want to get all of it off of there. Because you still want a little bit of flavor in your meat. So if you can grab it, you should be able to cut it off of there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for all of these breasts and then I'll be back to show you the next th step in the process okay you two we got all our chicken all cleaned up and everything now what we're gonna do is we have to tenderize our chicken this is one of the most important parts of doing your chicken breasts because you want to make sure that all of this thick thick meat it's broken down so what you do is you either take some plastic wrap and put it around your chicken I like just to put it in a bag and you take your rolling pin and flatten that part out you're not beating it to death but what you want to do is you want to flatten that out okay and that breaks down the meat fibers and that will cause your chicken to be tender. Once again, you take a nice, big, thick piece like that, throw it in the bag, just like that. 
So from that big thick piece of chicken, now you have pretty much a uniform piece of chicken that's gonna cook evenly. So I'm gonna continue to do this. And once I'm done with all of these pieces of chicken, we're gonna be right back. All right, YouTube, now that I've pounded out my chicken, tenderize it all you got chicken there and yes I do reuse my uh, styrofoam chicken pieces there we use them for the chicken hold the chicken in there and then we throw them out well, what we're going to use today to season our chicken of course it's our triple play this one I'm sure people know. This is adobo, all-purpose seasoning. That's our seasoning salt for the day. Then we got our granulated garlic. We got our granulated onion. And we got our fresh black, cracked black pepper. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on our stove. Get our pan hot. While our pan is getting hot, we're going to start putting away some of these spices because we don't need them anymore. We've done what we needed to do with this chicken. So we put those away. Get out a little olive oil. Put some olive oil in the pan. I'm going to allow that to heat up. And then, like I said, we're going to be browning our chicken. What that browning does is it locks in the flavors. And it keeps our chicken nice and moist. But what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to be finishing the cooking process in the oven. So because we're going to be finishing the cooking process in the oven, we might as well start preheating our oven, right? We're going to preheat our oven to 350. Bring our chicken over. And let's start cooking our chicken. That's the sound you want to hear. Okay, let's take a look at our chicken. <clears throat> See how we're doing. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Got that nice brown little seal on there. Look at that. That's how we want our chicken to look. Now, these are thick pieces of chicken. Like I said, you don't have to cook them all the way through. If you look at the chicken, you see it has white halfway. You just want it to be that brown color on the outside. And then once it's that brown color on the outside, we know we've seared in the juices and it's time for it to go into the pan so that the pan itself can finish cooking the chicken. We'll be back. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the other side of this chicken. You see that? It's got a nice brown tinge to it. And that's good enough for our chicken. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay these in the pan. Are they done all the way through? Absolutely not. But what we're going to do, add a little bit more oil. 
get our second batch of chicken going. And we're going to continue this process until all of these pieces of chicken are done. All right, YouTube, we are back. Just about done with all of our chicken breasts. Nice and brown. Almost done putting them all in the uh, pan there. Now, see all those brown bits down there? What I've done is I've taken some chicken stock and to that chicken stock I've put dried thyme, dried oregano, dried basil. That's a little hot. And this is going to be the braising process. What happens is all of that stuff that's on the bottom of this pan, we're loosening it up right now because that's all flavor. And we want all that flavor to be in our chicken. So we take the wooden spoon, wooden spatula, whatever you got, and we just rub the bottom of that pan. And that liquid is going to release those brown bits of flavor and those brown bits of flavor are going to be drizzled on top of our chicken and it's going to keep our chicken moist as it is in the oven so this is already hot so I can turn my my fire off just rubbing the bottom of the pan so I don't feel anything anymore. So I'm not scraping anymore. And once I've done that, I'm gonna take this liquid, I'm gonna pour it over my chicken. Of course, I don't wanna get burned, so I need to use my pot holder. So we take our liquid, Pour it over our chicken breast, like so. Now there's not enough liquid to cover completely the chicken breast. It's just enough liquid. To make sure that the bottom of that pan is covered in liquid. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to seal this up nice and tight with an aluminum foil. Trap that steam in there. nice and tight and what's going to happen now is this is going to go into our oven that has been preheated to 350 it's going to stay in our oven for about a half hour that will continue to cook the chicken and it will make the chicken nice and moist and juicy and when it comes out of there it's going to be ready oven My 
And that's that. Okay, I just took the chicken out of the oven. It's been in there for a half hour. And we're gonna unveil what it looks like. Oh boy. I wish you could smell it. It smells incredible. And there you go. That is our chicken for our meal prep. All we gotta do is cut it up and we're gonna save all of that braising sauce. And what do we do with that? That goes on our vegetables, that goes on our rice. Oh, it goes on a whole lot of things. So as we take the chicken out, grab our knife, cut down the middle. And I just want you to see that. Look at that chicken. That is incredible. Woo! We're just going to cut that up into pieces. And this is how you meal prep your chicken. And all you got to do is cook your rice up. Cook your vegetable up, and you've got a fantastic meal. Just want to grab one of these pieces of chicken. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to squeeze it. Can you see the juice coming out of there? Oh, boy. This is for... Uh, For my buddy Steve Jones. He said I didn't taste test on my last video. So we're gonna try some of this chicken. Mm. Juicy, flavorful. This chicken is unbelievable. You wouldn't believe that this was a chicken breast. It's so juicy that it's almost like having a chicken thigh. The flavors the onion, the, the adult ball. Oh my God. And it still has that nice little crust on it that releases some flavor as you're eating it. This is a winner right here. That's how you meal prep chicken. All right, YouTube, what do you think? If you liked my meal prep chicken, please give me a thumbs up. Write me a comment down below. How do you meal prep your food? Let me know how you do your food. And also, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am so appreciative of everybody that comes to my page, comes in the kitchen with Paul, and they subscribe. And of course, once you subscribe, click that little bell. And that's gonna tell you every single time that I come into the kitchen and make a video for you. So please, subscribe, click the bell, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to go over to the recipe blog. That's going to have, the link is going to be inside of the comment box, okay? So please, also support the recipe blog because that tells you exactly how I make these recipes. So, as always, I got three things to tell you. Number one. First and foremost, always keep God first in your life, all right? Number two, always love your family. And number three, love yourself. You've been in the kitchen with Paul. Me, I'm Paul. Peace, y'all.